guys, this is Sophie Shohet. Welcome back to another video where I'm gonna be reviewing these shoes. These are the Valentino Rock Studs. There are pros and cons to owning them and also the sizing is like way weird on them. So if you're looking to get these and you want more information, keep watching. So when you get them, the box looks like this. It's kind of like, it almost feels a bit like fabric slightly on the outside and it's just like plain red and then it's got that information there. And when you open it, you have two dust bags and then what you also have in these little pouches you've got heel i've never actually opened them you've got heel tips and probably like a hair booklet or something and then when you open up the bag the box you have the shoe so i wanted to go for a really classic version of this shoe I was torn at the time between do I go for a colour and do I go or do I go for the nude and the black. In the end, the, or the nude or the black, I mean to say, in the end I went for the black patent and I'm actually glad I did because it goes with a lot of stuff. I'm also really glad that I got the patent. Here is why. The leather on this shoe, like the leather that all goes around the kind of the T strap there, it's so, so, so delicate. I can't even tell you. So the first time I got these, I wore them out to lunch and I pretty much went from my house to the car, to the table in the restaurant and back to the car and back home. And I'm gonna show you some close-ups, but around the heel there, pretty much where I was just sitting at the table, all of the top layer of the leather has worn off. So normally the leather is like a slightly mauvey nude color. And you can see that the colors come off and it's like a much lighter color. So I'm, as soon as I saw that, I was really annoyed. The first time I'd worn it, I, it wasn't even like I'd driven in them, which normally does like damage the back of the shoe there. It was like the first time wearing it and they'd all rubbed off around there. So that is really annoying. And I, and I remember being really pleased that I didn't get the all over non-patent pair because of that, because the all over non-patent pair, from what I've seen of them, the leather is like the same texture as the soft leather that's around that T section there. So I'm really glad I didn't get that. If anyone's got the full on non-patent versions and that doesn't happen, then please let me know. I picked these up last summer, that was 2015. At the time, they were around about 620 pounds. I think they've gone up a little bit since then. They're like, I feel like they're 650 pounds or something, but they were 620 at the time. Pretty much everywhere, you couldn't get them anywhere less than that. I went on to Farfetch to buy them. Farfetch is a really good website. I buy so much stuff on there. For anyone who's not familiar with it, pretty much the way it works is that you would go on there and you'd search whatever, whatever it is that you want, so Valentino Rockstar, and it will come up with all of these different pairs of shoes that are being sold by little independent boutiques who otherwise wouldn't have a web presence. So that's kind of the way it works. The benefit to it is, First of all, Farfetch every so often have got like release coupons so you can get discounts off. But also, here is the good thing. When I bought these shoes, they were from a boutique on the continent in Paris, I think, who had them listed in Euro. Euro at the time was doing really badly, so when it converted to pound sterling, I made a saving already before I'd even done anything. I remember these should have been 620 pounds, and I seem to remember they were like 520. I remember getting like a like at least 100 pounds off. Then on top of that, I got an additional 10% off because with Farfetch, the first time you make a purchase on there, you get a 10% off coupon. If you want to get that, it's like a refer a friend scheme. So I'll put my link below. If you click on that link, it will then give you a code and then whenever you want to go and purchase, but just put that code in at the checkout and then you'll get your 10% off. It's not, a, it's not, I'm not making any money out of it or anything. It's just like a refer a friend scheme. So it's pretty good if you want to get a bit of money off. I ended up getting these shoes for under 500 pounds. I seem to remember they were like 480 pounds or something which is near enough what they were when they first came out in 2013, 2014 maybe. I almost wish that I bought them then because having owned this shoe, I actually think that it's, I don't think it's worth the price tag now, not at all. It feels like a very delicate shoe. When I wear it, it feels quite dainty. It feels like, I feel like I could break it really easily. Whereas when I wear something like a Christian Louboutin, it feels, 
sturdy. They, they just feel like a sturdy shoe. Even the ones that have got a way high heel where you might be worried that you want to like snap the heel off. They just feel sturdy, but with this, it feels delicate. And also, that leather, as I've told you about, that is like, it's way, way delicate. So when you wear them, you've kind of got to be careful with them. The other thing to mention is sizing. These are like a really weird sizing. When I purchased these, because I was getting them on the internet and I wasn't going to be able to try them on, I didn't really know what size to go for. The way, the way I tend to find my sizing goes is I'm always a 39 European in non-designer and I'm pretty much always a 39 and a half in designer. So I was going to get the 39 and a half, but then I'd heard that these are small to size. So I just like, I just went for it. I got the size 40. I'm rarely a size 40. They turned up and even these are a little bit small, but I get away with it because obviously it's not like an enclosed heel. So guys, when you get these, definitely get one entire size up. And in fact, when I got them, I unboxed them and the first thing I thought is, thank God, you know, normally a size 40 looks big, but it doesn't actually look like a size 40. It just looks like... It looks like a 39, um, so they do definitely run small. The other thing is, is you know normally on a sling back or whatever, you have a little bit of elastic on the back there, so if it is a little bit tight, it doesn't matter, it kind of gives, you don't have that on this, there's no elastic on there at all. And even where the buckle is on a lot of sling back shoes, you get a tiny little piece of elastic there so it stretches, you don't get that either on this shoe. So they really do need to fit because they don't give a massive amount. From a positive point of view, they're actually strangely comfortable. I have got the I've got the high heel version. That's like a four inch heel and there's no platform in there, but they don't feel very high when you're wearing them. So if you're thinking about getting this or the kitten heel version, can't speak for the kitten heel version, but definitely that I don't find it to be a problem to walk in at all. The only other slight downside is I have got on my right foot, I've got quite a, you know that, that bone that on your foot that got on the front there? I find that that presses down on it, but only on my right foot. On my left foot, which is slightly smaller, it's fine. So again, if you've got like a high, what is, that's not an instep, you know what I mean? Like a high bit there on your foot, you might want to size up again because this leather doesn't stretch massively. I guess because it's got the studs in it and also because it's reinforced with that cross bit there. So it's literally like right in that middle bit where it crosses over. That's where it like digs in the most on me. Although I mentioned that they feel delicate when I wear them and I don't like that aspect, the leather on the inside is possibly, it feels softer than the leather that they use on the Christian Louboutin shoes. On his shoes sometimes I look at the stuck down like lining in there that's got like the logo on it and it almost looks a bit cheap sometimes but this actually looks really good quality the logo is actually stitched in on these and again i don't know if anyone's with me on this but sometimes whenever you wear shoes where the label is stitched in that digs in your foot after a while again haven't noticed an issue with that at all it's all been fine and they are they just go with so many things i wear these with like crop jeans skinny jeans, skirts, they go with so many things. They're quite a classic shoe. I, I, that, that's the thing though, I do think with the price, I don't think they're worth it. And although I would like another pair in the nude color, patent, I would not, a thousand percent, I'm not gonna be going and spending over 600 pounds on them because I don't think they're worth it. What I would probably do is maybe if the, Euro went down again and I could pick them up on Farfetch for around about the four or 500 mark, I'd possibly do it. Even 500, I wouldn't pay for, pay for these. Not when you can get a really decent Christian Louboutin for 425. I don't think they're worth 600. Or I would go on some, something like Vestaire Collective and see if I can get someone there. But um, personally, I wouldn't spend that money on them, but that's just my thoughts and my advice. So to sum up guys, Take an entire size larger than your regular size before you get these because they are small, that is for sure. I've got a wide foot. I didn't find that it pinches at all across the front, although I did find that bit there. I've got quite a high arch or whatever that thing's called on your foot. That bit actually digs in quite a lot on me. And they are quite a fragile shoe, all kind of worn around the back there, but they look really pretty. They're very comfortable on. They, the, 
Apart from that rubbing thing, the quality of the leather all feels really good, so I'm happy from that perspective, but I don't think they're worth over £600, just no way. I hope that this has helped you if you are looking to get the shoe online and you just wanted some information on it. If you like Lux videos, then definitely subscribe because I do loads of these. Come and join me in the next video, I'm going to link to it, it's going to be there, and I'll see you in five.